Brothers and sisters and dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be upon you all. Alhamdulillah, in this episode, Gems from the Quran, we are getting into a new chapter, a new surah, that is Al Qari'ah, the striking calamity. And this is a Makki surah which was revealed before the Hijrah, before the migration of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And we will start by saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Allah Almighty started this chapter by saying Al-Qari'ah. And this is very heavy and a big word, Al-Qari'ah, which means the striking calamity. Means there will be a strike. There will be Qari'ah. And Qari'ah means one of the names of the Day of Judgment. Name of ju the names of the Day of Judgment, there are many names. One of the names is Al-Qari'ah. Means it will strike. It will make a big calamity for everyone, this strike. So Allah Almighty is saying Al-Qari'ah. The striking calamity. And then Allah Almighty says, Mal Qari'ah. What is the striking calamity? Third time Allah Almighty said, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْقَارِعَةَ Allah Almighty is saying, and what you can know about the striking calamity. So Allah is keep re my, re re reminding us and repeating the Al-Qari'ah, 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 the striking calamity, the striking calamity that this is something really horrible will happen on the Day of Judgment. Because of this strike, because of this calamity, what will happen? Allah Almighty says, يَوْمَ يَكُونُ النَّاسُ On that day, the people will be like what? كَالْفَرَاشِ الْمَبْثُوثِ They will be like smoths, or they will be like butterflies. Imagine when you enter to any garden or any field that there are lots of butterflies. What is the reaction of butterflies? Why Allah Almighty is mentioning here Kal Farash al Mabthuth that the butterflies they are scattered everywhere. They are just everywhere. They are flying and, and everywhere. When you will see the butterfly, it is flying at the same time, but it's going left and right, left and right. And you know that they have no any proper rule. Not like a birds. Birds they fly in one direction in a you know V-shape. The ants, they go in a straight line. The butterflies, when they fly, they fly everywhere. There is no a proper guidelines for them. They are not systematic. This will happen to the people. The people on that day, they will be like butterflies. They are going left and right and running everywhere and they don't know. They are not following any system. They are not following anything. They will be like scattered butterflies. And after that, not only that, this is regarding the people, even the giant creation of Allah Almighty will be in a different situation. Allah Almighty says, وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعِهْنِ الْمَنْفُوشِ You see these big giant mountains, they will be like a cotton flying. Can you imagine the old cotton if you have it in your hand, and it will just blow. What will happen to this cotton? It will just fly, right? The very old cotton, very light cotton, Allah Almighty will make all these giant mountains will fly. Unbelievable. The people will be going left and right like butterfly, and these giant creation of Allah Almighty are flying like cotton. If this is the case, while we are there and seeing all these things, what will happen on the Day of Judgment when we will be in front of Allah Almighty? We will continue, inshallah, but after a small break, so stay with us. Welcome back, dear viewers. 
So we stopped where Allah Almighty is saying that the mountains will fly like a cotton. And then Allah Almighty saying about the people, the good believers, the believers, those who believe in Allah Almighty, the good people and the bad people. So let's start with the good people. Allah Almighty says in the ayah number six, the verse number six, فَأَمَّا مَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ So whomsoever's scales on that day become heavy. On that day, what will be the heaviest weight of the scales? فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةٍ رَاضِيَةٍ So indeed, this person will be in a pleasant life. He will have a pleasant life. Once your scales are heavy, Alhamdulillah. I'm in a pleasant life. But from the other side, Allah Almighty said, وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ So you have two skills, good and bad. If the good is heavy, you are في عيشة راضية. And if your scales is light and sins are heavy, وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ And whomsoever's scale is light, means the good deeds are light and the bad deeds are heavy. فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةً He, refuge will be like an abbas. He, his, like, you know, he will cry till death and he will remember his you know, mother and his mother is like you know, crying because what's happening to him. You know, and this is one of the things that says فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةً That you know, he will be in a deep down trouble. He will be in a hell. Can you imagine? وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَ And what you really know about Hawiyah. Hawiyah is something really deep down. Allah Almighty is saying, what do you know really about Al-Hawiyah? وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَ Then Allah Almighty describing that this Hawiyah is, this deep down situation of a person is what? نَارٌ حَامِيَة It is a fire which is so hot and incredibly hot. So these are the two situations. Those who will have a heavy scales on the day of judgment, they will be having fi'ishatin radiya. They will be having a pleasant life. And whoever's scale, the good deed is very light and the sins is very heavy, فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةً He will be in a deep down hole. And what is this hole about? وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَ Allah Almighty says, نَارٌ حَامِيَةً This deep down hole is nothing except a staunch, a hot, burning hellfire. So I ask Allah Almighty to make us among those who are working for the good deeds. Those who will find their scales of the good deed heavy on the day of judgment. And I ask Allah Almighty not to make me and you and all of us among those who will find their scales of sins heavy or their scales of the good deeds are light. So we don't want to be among those who will be in a deep down hole of the hellfire. So this is in short that 11 verses from this chapter, Al-Qari'ah, the striking calamity, it's talking about the day of judgment and what will happen on the day of judgment. And this strike will make people go mad. It will make people be like a butterfly everywhere. And not only that, they will be able to see, literally see the mountains flying and rolling like a cotton. On that day, if you are doing something good, you will find it in the scale and you will end up in Jannah. And once you find something bad in your scales, because whatever you are doing here, you will find it there on the day of judgment. So anything bad in your scales, you will find it on the day of judgment. And I ask Allah Almighty to protect us from the hellfire. So this is in short about the surah. I ask Allah Almighty to bless us. And I ask Allah Almighty to always use us to do the righteousness and the good deeds until we die and we meet Allah Almighty on a good terms. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakum Allah khair. The time is up. And inshallah see you in the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.